All right, I'm back. Just a nice quick little fix there. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust these shackles so that they match up much better. So now they match up much better, so we should have a pretty good lift. <clears throat> so what we now we've got it. So what we can do is I'm going to lift the hook up just a little bit because it looks like something's hanging up just a little bit. So I'm gonna lift up. why the hook is doing that could be because I'm going to lower it down because I don't like the way the hook looks alright now I'm going to Detach that. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Okay. So now. You can see with all that weight back there, the crane's acting a little funky. And that's because I'm trying to adjust things with it down, but because I can't, uh, I can't maneuver with that much weight. So we're gonna have to come back, move the right. That might be fine there. So now we can go back, add that weight back on to so 200 tons. That's the 200 tons. You notice when I did that, the ballast, the ballast was up. Okay. So now. <coughs> All right. So now we should be good to lift. Yep. Lifting it up straightens everything back out, which is perfect. Swinging a little bit. I'm going to get the hook rotated. This one works opposite to all the other ones. Get the hook rotated so that that will rotate correctly. Okay. Now back to the main crane, lifting up the ballast tray. So now we're going to lift up the bridge span. There we go. That'll get to the All right, we're up now. Nice thing. Oh, that's right. Let's 
set the slope. This won't be quite enough, but it'll be pretty close. Down closer. All right, I'm back. I got it all figured out. Figured out some of the issues, like the little um, platform there. I got that working. It's just a simple little checkbox that I forgot to do. Um, and I got the collision fixed over on this end too, so we should be pretty, pretty good. Um, just gotta get this lifted a little bit more. Take the hook again. Good. Looking pretty, pretty good. Okay. So now we're going to lower it down. And raise it up a little bit again. Get it lined up a little bit better. a little bit too far out. Yes, this does take a lot of patience. There we go. Now we should be able to lower it down. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now that we have it in the spot, we're going to remove the crane. Oh, I should have lowered the ballast first. Now we can attach here and attach there. And we have our first span together. It's moving because of the little generators moving. That's okay. But what we can do is detach that. And now we are on the bridge that we built can actually come down, move that. 
We'll get the crane out of the way. Oh, got to remove ballast before we can pivot. So yes, there will be a lot of back and forth, getting the right ballast on, getting it into the right position, so on and so forth. So now, keep raising it up, get it up out of the way. So now we can place the next pier. If you haven't already placed it, you can move the um, move the generator to the next pier so you can get set up for the next lift and do the next lift. It's basically just continuing to doing that all the way to the other side. Um, you will want to do the two um, the two ends like this and then at one at the very end when you have the last span that will become the parent of everything so you'll put the span in and attach both piers to it um, and that will become the parent for the entire bridge system all right so now that we have this we've got this it's pretty boring it's just like okay well why do you just make these boxes like this well because what you can do is you can come over to the edges Add K rail. Let's see. Yeah, so it says remove K rail, add K rail. Then you can have add edges as white lines or write yellow. So that makes it yellow there. Uh, so it dep all depends on. So let's do a two lane. So in the middle, you can do double yellow like that. So coming on the bridge, yes, we want double yellow. You can do a white center line, so just white dashed center line. You can do uh, left yellow solid, so you can see you got passing lanes on this side, or you can do passing lanes on the other side. So we're just going to do double yellow for here, and then well, we need those for the bridge as well. So if you come up to the center, oop, there we go. We've got the same things. So let's, we're going to do uh, passing on that side. We'll add the K rail. And that would need to be double white. There we go. So now you got the lanes, you got the bridge. Now you just need to continue building. Take your time plan it out um, uh, so if you get to water so let me make this out so let's say this bridge pier was in water okay these if you try to put a pier directly in the water and extend it out the next time you open up the game and if the bridge is not complete it will be gone. It will be stacked up on the land, not where you put it. So to build over water, what you have to do, you go to placeables, construction, um, I think it's in, nope, buildings, production, I think it's in decoration, others, nope, I will find it here. I've got it here somewhere. Just gotta remember where I put it. Ah, uh, okay. I've got it in sheds. I might put it in land uh, in decoration and others. All right. So this, you'll make it, and you'll notice here, in the upper left-hand corner, toggle free mode is off. What that means is, as you build it, it's going to move the ground up to it. That is not what you want. You want to hit V. To turn toggle free mode and now you look it's it's giving you a good even eight thousand dollars and so what you'll do is 
all over the water, wherever the pier shows it's going to land, or where the pier should be, you want to place that. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find water. Yeah, should have. So you'll see this floats right on top of the water. And if you do it this way, it extends down into the water. But if you have toggle free mode off, when you do that, it raises the land and that's it, it causes lots of problems. So do not do it this way. Have free mode on and then place the pier. And it, it, it'll go in any depth of water, so it doesn't really matter, and it'll still look good. So you can sort of see here, it, you see that the, the model goes down in. So that's how you want it. So, and then you'll be able to place a pier directly on top of this, and when you save it, you should have no issues with it um, going into uh, getting out of the water. So, yay. It's getting really close to getting released, um, so hang in there just a little bit longer.